we are told that we have a rectangle with a perimeter of 20. Okay, so what we could do is make a perimeter. Well, there's a rectangle and the perimeter is the distance around and that should be 20. So what I like to do is I call this x. So that means this would be x. This would be then what be y, like that. Now the perimeter is when you add everything together. So I would say that when you plus them together, so 2x's plus 2y's should give me 20. Then it tells us that the area is 24. Now the area would be x times y. So the area would be x multiplied by y, but they've told us that that is 24. And there we go, guys. Now they say determine the length and breadth. So that pretty much means determine x and y. And so two equations, two unknowns. Did someone just say simultaneous? Yes, this is going to be simultaneous equations. So remember, let me write these two equations underneath each other. This is number one. This is number two. And so with the simultaneous equations, your step one is to always try to find uh, x or y alone. So get x or y alone. And then step B, uh, well, let's first, let's not jump the gun here. Let's get x or y alone. So um, what I'm going to do, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to get x alone in this equation. So I'm going to say that x is equal to 24 over y. And then I'm going to call that equation number three. So then what you do is you put the new equation that you've just made into the equation that you haven't used, into equation which has not been used. Okay, so that means we're going to plug number three into the one that we haven't used, which is number one. So wherever we see an x, we're going to replace it with 24 over y. Okay, and then I'm going to multiply out, so that's 48 over y. Remember that this 2 only goes to the top. Plus 2y equals 220. Now we simply have a common denominator. That common denominator is going to be y. And so we're going to multiply everything by y. So this will stay 48 over y plus 2y squared over y. See, because I multiplied top and bottom with y equals to 20y over y. Now that we've got y's everywhere, we can ignore them. Or, I mean, at the bottom. And then we have 48 plus 2y squared equals to 20y. I'm then going to take it over. Well, I'm going to bring the 20y over, I should rather say. Like that. Now, you can use the quadratic formula here, but I'm going to first divide everything by 2. We are allowed to do that. There we go. And this one will actually factorize quite nicely. It's y minus 6 and y minus 4. And so therefore, y would be 6 or y would equal to 4. Now that we have our y values, we can now go get our x values. So what we then do is we use number 3 again. So if y is equal to 6, then x would be equal to 24 over 6, which would be equal to 4. And then in a different color, if y was 4, then x would be equal to 24 over 4, which would be 6. So our final answers will be x equals to 4 and y equals to 6. That could be your answer for this rectangle. Or x could be equal to 6 and y would be equal to 4. So let's see if it makes sense. If, let's say for example, x is 4. Let's erase that quickly. If x was 4, then they tell us that y would have to be 6. And so the perimeter would definitely be 20 and the area would also be 24. And so your final answers will be these over here.